Today we're going to take a look at the Galaxy Tab 3 that uh, doesn't want to turn on or charge, uh, which happens sometimes. So there's a few ways you can try to fix this. There's some simple button combinations that you can try. This is the power button. This is the volume up and down button. Some people report success from just holding the power and volume up button for 20 or even 60 seconds. Uh, that doesn't always work. It doesn't work for me a lot of the time. The other option is the power and the volume down button. Same thing, 20 seconds. It's an easy thing to try, and if you see the screen or the charging indicator come on, then you're in luck. One slightly more complicated fix, which also sometimes works, is to remove the SD card, micro SD card, which is right here, and do the same thing. You hold the power volume up button for about 20 seconds which is going to take a long time. That's relatively close. And then after that, you can hold the power button in one more time. You can see this is one persistently problematic tablet. So what I've found to be the quickest, most reliable fix is to actually take the unit apart and disconnect the battery temporarily and reconnect it. So we're going to pause for a minute while I set that up. Yes, sir. Okay, to take it apart, the easiest way to do that is with a plastic pry tool, which you can see right here. And you just basically pry around the edges. And I'm probably not going to do this perfectly, but it won't break anything. It's actually sometimes easier to get it started right here by the... By the uh, the button. And you're going to pry the metal away from the tablet. Work your way around the edges. There are some plastic tabs that are holding the metal back on the tablet. And as long as you pry them away from the tablet, as you can see, it's starting to work away. It's uh, actually pretty resilient. You don't have to worry too much about breaking it. I would not use a metal pry tool, though, for static electricity. And also to potentially scrape some stuff on the inside or maybe even short something out on the inside. So the plastic pry tool is what I recommend. You can get them on Amazon pretty inexpensively. That's where I got mine. See, you'll probably be able to do this faster than I can once you get the hang of it. That's coming right away. There we go. So there's the back off, and here's the actual inside of the unit, and right here is the battery connector. So, what you want to do is, again, you can use the plastic pry tool, pry this connector off. It's going to come separated, like that. See that? And then what you want to do is connect it right back together, which just takes a simple snap, just like that. You'll hear it. And once you've done that, make sure you put the case back on. Make sure we're doing it the right way. Yep. So the camera lines up here with the camera hole. And here you don't need the plastic pry tool, you just snap it together. Get it back on. You might want to kind of feel all the way around to make sure all the snaps are reattached. It's just pressure that holds them in place. That looks pretty good. Now we're going to plug our charger in. Use the Samsung charger. I would not recommend using an aftermarket charger because a lot of times the voltage will vary and the connector might not be perfect. So we plug that in and we wait for that. That's the battery indicator. That means the unit is now getting a charge and at this point just leave it connected for uh, as long as you normally do to recharge your tablet and you should be back in business. If this works or doesn't work, let us know in the comments. Bye-bye.